Hey there, it's Dan. Thanks for joining me for this Market Monday on President's Day. Hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. And speaking of Valentine's love, uh, I love this market. Uh, if you're a seller, you love this market. It's been a long time, maybe forever, since I've seen the market on Hilton Head Island this strong. We always start off with inventory. 61 new listings came on the market this week. Last week we reported 64 and this same week last year, 83. So once again, another week where inventory is significantly down, which tells me like there's something wrong with this slide. We had 401 new listings come on the market so far this year. And over the same period of time last year, it was 403. How can that be? Week after week, we're reporting a decline in properties coming on the market, but this year to date number is showing that it's almost the same. Well, this is that shadow inventory that I've continued to talk about. These are, this number is higher than what we're reporting weekly because there are properties that are coming on the market already under contract, right? There are deals that are being made. You have a buyer or a real estate agent has a buyer that's looking for X property. You go out and find X property. It's not on the market. You make a deal. The property comes on the market as an under contract. That's why this number is almost the same. And thank goodness for this, because if we didn't have this, our sales would be stalling now because there's not enough inventory. So those of you that have been watching week after week, you've heard me talk about shadow inventory. My prediction that we're gonna see some good shadow inventory coming on the market this year. Uh, it looks like that prediction is holding true, thank goodness, because it's what's, uh, it's what's causing our market to continue to, um, to move at high, high levels. Sales this week, we had 30 sales this week. We reported 33 last week, this same week last year, we had 28. Now, <clears throat> sales are the properties that have gone under contract, you know, six, eight weeks ago. Um, they're, they're not a representation of the activity today. They're, they're previous activity that is actually, you know, is, is, is coming to a closing now. These are the properties that went over, under contract over the holidays. The year to date closed sales, we've had 308 so far this year. Over the same period of time last year, 187. So you can see we're up 65%. Uh, sales are up 65%. Inventory is relatively stagnant right now. Pending sales, under contract sales. These are the window into the future. These will be the numbers that we're looking at as sales six, eight weeks from now. We've had 107 properties go under contract this week on Hilton Head Island. Last week, we reported the number to be 99. The same week last year, 62. So you can see that significant increase. And you can really see it in the year-to-date numbers. We've had 512 properties go under contract so far this year, and 290 over that same period of time last year. So a 77% increase in properties going under contract. As you can imagine, this is having a significant effect on the average selling price. But before we get into the average selling price, I'm going to ask you if you're not following us uh, on Facebook or Instagram that you follow us at the Prudhomme team. Uh, if you're watching this today on YouTube, I ask that you smash that like button and hit the notification bell so that the next video that comes up, uh, YouTube will notify you and you won't miss it. Now let's talk about average selling price. 598000 is the average selling price right now. The average selling price through this period of time last year was 467000 that is a 28% increase in the average selling price year over year. It is the perfect storm. It would be difficult to see a, 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 an average selling price increase by more than 28% over a 12 month period. If you're a seller, this is as good as it gets. It's just as good as it gets. And then finally, we always wrap it up with cumulative days on the market. You'll know that last year, this number never went below 100. Now we're at 72. During the same period of time last year, the average cumulative days on the market was 148%. So we're less than half. Again, just shows all numbers point to uh, a strong market and, uh, and, and seeing this shadow inventory come onto the market is what's continuing to fuel this. Once we see a dip in that, we're gonna see sales. Once we see a dip in shadow properties coming on the market, we're gonna see a slowdown in sales. But right now, we're just not seeing it. So thank you so much. Make sure that you follow us every Monday for Market Mondays. I handle Hilton Head Island. Mike Broadhurst handles Bluffton. Last week we started doing Neighborhood Market Mondays. I did Sea Pines. This week we're going to be doing a Forest Beach, so make sure you follow along. Thank you so much.